snuck up on us, you son of a bitch. <laughs> What's up, What's up buddy? Good to see you guys. Sean. How are you, how are you, oh, Corey. Up, how you doing, Dude, it's so nice to finally yeah, meet you, man. It's happening. Here we go. Two cameras. Three I know. guys. This is looking kind of kind of sketchy. Kind of like a porno. <laughs> big bite. Big bite. Big bite. Big bite. Big bite. Big, 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 big bite. We are here. We're at the meat factory. Mr. Beef. Yeah. You guys told me you haven't been here before. No, it's our first right? time, man. First this is like, time. This is a staple and we haven't been here, so this is a big deal. This is This is, is like awesome. a Chicago okay. staple. This is, I think Italian sandwiches are also a Chicago staple, right? Oh, and this is the this Mecca. Way. This, this is, is Mecca. Is, we're right in the middle of it, too, right? This is the action downtown. This is, down, this is River North, so this is like tourist central, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, you guys brought me to the right place because I am a tourist. I've never been to Chicago before, and I asked these guys, I said, take me out, take me to where you think I would like to go to. And this is it, Italian beef sandwiches. Are you sure you don't have like a condo in Florida you need to get back to or I know, something? this looks like I just hopped <laughs> off the plane. I, I, I took the wrong plane and I landed here. Are you telling me there's not one condo available in all of Del Boca Vista? Yeah, this is blowing some internet people's minds. It's Mr. Big Bite himself. Whoa! Fast food pit stop. Big Bite! Downtown Chicago, Mr. Beef. <laughs> Let's do this. Can't believe it. So here we are, the original Mr. Beef. Just those three. three. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You've never had an Italian beef. I've never had an Italian beef before, and I came to the holy mecca. You guys have brought me here to Mr. Beef, and I'm so excited. Three <laughs> Italian beefs with hot and sweet peppers acquired from Mr. Beef. Jump cut. Jump cut. Dude, this is a big day. Very excited Justin's here from North Carolina to Denver right. to Milwaukee. I know, it's a crazy job. Uh, life I live. Very, very cool that you've bounced around and seen some very different trains, I think, by that's, the way. That's right, and, and different smells in the air. So, yeah, very, yep, very <laughs> different. in Denver. Although I caught a, a whiff of Denver just coming around the corner here by the parking lot. It's, it's <laughs> unmistakable <laughs> air in the air. Um, I love it. I feel like a slice of butter melting on top of a big old pile of flapjacks. <laughs> So this is the Italian beef. Mr. Beef is a, a very iconic spot, like we said, we haven't done it yet. So let me take you in for a Corey Wagner second angle. Alrighty, silver foil, cool. <coughs> Open it up, what do we got? Looks like cookie sheet that they use to wrap this up oh, in. Oh yeah, with like right. melted parchment Holy, paper. That's just, oh. that's just an actual pepper. They didn't bother cutting that, I like <laughs> it. I respect it. I'm gonna try to rip this like that's paper to give me a pepper. couple yeah. more strips out of this or something. Mm -hmm. My God, this is... <laughs> An interesting decision. Knives are not a priority uh, today. Soggy bread is, is uh, generally the case, uh, which is standard. That's not a negative for Italian beefs. That's uh, wanted. And then uh, I, I'm not sure what these white sa albino salary. It's Jardinera, uh, but beef. yeah. Yeah, and a so lot of shredded beef. A lot of shredded beef. That's how you pronounce it, Jardinera. Yeah, so okay. Chicago is obsessed with Jardinera, and rightfully so. It's just basically vinaigrized peppers and onions and carrots and things like Very that. Very delicious. Okay. It's really good. So really we actually good. just had a pizza the other day that had it on it, and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, Justin, just for fun, because you are a food reviewer on the internet. You've been doing this longer than us. I feel like I also need a Justin second angle. Let's you know, do it. Let me Give me your take on this. I like how they've, they've taken the tin foil and then taken the time to wrap it in wax paper as well. Yeah. So it sort of holds in the juices. See here, and of course it's on the bottom. Let's make it ultra messy. Now I can smell right away just that the vinegar that you're talking about. There's that whole pepper again. I've got uh, <laughs> Corey's other half. So there it is. It's massive. It's yeah, it's huge. big. It's, it's big. It's a big one. Now it looks like we've got what sweet peppers, right? Yeah. Spicy so there's peppers? like the hot peppers is the jardinera, and okay. then the vinegarized. Uh, bell pepper is the sweet pepper. <laughs> okay, got it. Yeah. Tons of beef, and it's it's obviously soaked, right? I mean, yeah. it's full of that. They don't, they don't call it sauce, they call it gravy out here. Right. It's all the t-shirt on the wall, so I will not call it that. So gravy, bread, the peppers, the beef. This thing is, looks like it rocks, you guys. I'm yeah, excited. I'm excited. It's I'm very, intense. I'm very, very excited. Pretty intense. Amazing. <laughs> All right, this is, <laughs> this is the hot and sweet Italian beef from Mr. Beef, Corey. Cheers. Justin, cheers. 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 Welcome cheers. to Chicago, baby. Thank you so much. Mm. 
This is a good Italian beef. This is the best one I've had. Yeah, instantly, mm -hmm. right? The seasonings on the beef is crazy. Oh yeah. Oh, it's super moist. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's really tender. Yeah, it it's, really it's is. It's like a roast beef sandwich that never was. And yeah, like, I, yeah. I like these peppers they use. They I taste, do too. Like I don't, I, I don't know what makes them better, but they taste a little bit better than the ones I've had previously. I agree. Look at that. Whoa. Little up close side camera action. That Justin, can I pepper. be selfish and ask you to give that GoPro the signature Justin Big Bite? Let's do it. I'm gonna go in on it here on a first bite. Big bite! Uh -huh. The Mr. Beef, Italian beef, here in the heartland of Chicago. It's a big deal, let's do it. Big bite! Big, 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 big See, it's bite. really nice having professionals on mm -hmm. the <laughs> None of these people that don't know how to review food in a car. Oh mm -hmm. man. Oh my god. This isn't even close. This is like by far the best. Run away. Mm -hmm. It's so tender. Before I had this, I was never even really like honestly. This my. I mean, I've talked smack about Italian beef before. I was never a huge fan of them. Al's Italian beef with hot peppers. Boom. Cheers, Chicago. My one thing I don't like about it is like this bread is like mush. Yeah. Yeah. This is unbelievably. It's really delicious. good. Really, really good. So the bread is this the typical bread? Yeah. So it's a find? French bread that okay. they use. Uh, the brand I believe is Toronto. Okay. And they have a huge hub here in Chicago because there's so many damn places that use it. Oh yeah, it's a staple of the city for sure. And it looks like what there's oregano. I mean, I see. Yes, yeah, so there's oregano, things. basil, mm -hmm. uh, like garlic on and the red bread pepper, on the all within the, the meat, okay. not the bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Justin. Yes. Mm -hmm. January 2016, you uploaded your first video <laughs> to did. Fast Food Pit Stops. I did. That's right. You did the King's Hawaiian fish sandwich from oh Arby's. Gosh, wow. This is what we got here, straight from the wrapper. Let's see if it looks a little bit like uh, the one that they advertise. Probably not too similar. And yeah. boy, have you developed, my friend. <laughs> Thank you so much. The, <laughs> yeah, just like anybody, it's incredible to see. I go, I'm gonna go back and watch Justin's first video. <laughs> that was my first. That was. Right off the bat, definitely a distinct uh, fish flavor. Not in a not in a repulsive way. And, what uh, what what made you upload a food review video? So Why I, did you do it? So so my at the time my, my now wife when we were, had just kind of started dating a couple of years at the time, we uh, saw something come out. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. It might have been the Black Bun Whopper or something. Back yeah. In the day. Um, so we Googled it, and we were just interested and in, came up with a YouTube food review. And uh, I believe it was Dane Drops of uh, the review, or maybe Ken Domic. I, I can't remember. Anyway, we watched the video and found ourselves just sitting there eating along <laughs> with the person, yeah. wanting to hear what they said about it, wanting to see if we agreed, disagreed, that type of thing. And it became more of an obsession. We would always go out and look for the newest thing, go out and try it, go back home, Google it, see who did the review. And oh, that's cool. So oh, you're like a fun. true fan of the genre. I yeah. really started to enjoy it. And she told me, you should start doing this. You're right? really good and you should try it out. You love food. I love food, of course. Big I like personality. Big Thank personality, so yep. Let's do the fries first, man. These things are calling my name. They look fantastic. God. I literally just grabbed a cell phone. I had an Apple 4 or an iPhone yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time. Yeah. Put it on my dash, and that's what I actually recorded my first probably 20 or 30 reviews on. Oh, it's that's just fun. with the uh, cell phone in the dash. And uh, from then on, I upgraded to what I currently still have, which are my two old GoPros. Dude, and uh, it works for you, man. You know, there's a there's a vintageness to that for me, and I really enjoy the authenticity of the channel, still using my old equipment, not really doing the upgrade. I know a lot of channels on YouTube that even just still use a cell phone. That's totally. kind of their Some, totally. of, the, some of the biggest people in the yeah. game do it, man. And that's what they want to use, and so I haven't really changed that style, right. and I haven't really tried to change my style so much. I really try yeah. to stay completely original. Uh, to the, to don't break, don't uh, fix it. It's not broken, right? I, and I love it. It's it's amazing. So I started putting out the reviews, started getting a little bit of attention, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I don't keep to a schedule. Right. You guys do it. I mean, to a T. I right. applaud anybody that can do that. It's amazing. Um, it's, Thank you, uh, It's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, and I encourage anybody. Everybody that comes up to me and asks me about YouTube, I always say go start your channel. Yeah, why not? Hundred percent, man. There's it's so I, much fun. It's amazing. And you don't have to have a thirty thousand subscribers mm -hmm. like fast food pit stops in order to <laughs> just to go up and do it and yeah, do it for five people. Who cares? It's such a good time. Totally. So One of my fun. favorite days of last year. If mm -hmm. you guys never saw this, I was in Denver without Corey for a wedding with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. So I, I messaged this guy. 
I go, let's go get some food together. Instantly, we hit it off. We hung out. Yeah. We did two reviews. Freddy's Steak Burgers. That's Ooh, right. that sounds good. Yeah. Are we filming? Are Dude, we I was just vlog we... styling out. You know, <laughs> we got you. Dude, the man right What's here. What's going on? Are you ready? Let's do I'm it. breathing heavy. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Big bite. <laughs> I still got to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Links below if you guys want to go watch yeah. me and Justin in the Denver Sun right. in July 2018. Yeah, it was pretty hot. That was my first Freddy's <laughs> experience, and holy smokes, dude. Is it amazing? Oh, it's one of the best fast foods in the game. What's your favorite uh, Denver local spot? Uh, I would say Good Times Burgers. Ooh. So Good Times is from there. They're headquartered there. Fantastic. I'm here for the first time ever, not just on the channel, but also in real life at Good Times Burgers, a Colorado locally owned and operated burger chain. Of course, you see it looks like we've got American on the bottom. I don't know if that's indicative of our political state, where we stand in the world as far as an economic power. Dude, this sandwich is getting better. Dude. I'm full and I I'm can't, still eating. I know, I'm trying so hard not to. Like The seasoning is stupid and the meat is stacked mm. like just bills, dude. This is what a P. Diddy back in the day, yeah. when he, he would just throw money. That's this. <laughs> I used right. to, I didn't know why they liked it dipped, I think because previously, whenever I would have it, the seasoning on it, so that therefore the gravy seasoning wasn't doing it any justice, right? Mm -hmm. And now I'm tasting like the what the way it soaks into this bread, the way this juices soak into this bread, mm -hmm. it's un, it's so tasty. I usually don't like soggy bread, but bro, this is some legit stuff. I see why people rave about 100%. Mr. Beast. I get why Jay Leno is all about it. One day I'm in Chicago. My favorite restaurant in Chicago is this joint called Mr. Beef. Okay. All it is, it's like picnic tables. Beef sandwiches, the guys wear no plastic gloves, no hair nuts. There's your beef right here. They slam it <laughs> This really is truly the best one I've yeah. had. That was one of the bullet point standouts was there's something about Mr. Beef that the bread doesn't get affected by it as much as other places. Okay. Most of the time, and even if it Al's, does get affected, it's ta it's tasty good. It's not like the other something like Right, that. right, right. At Al's, we're holding like a gravy puddle in our hands of oh, right. floating bread. This is all soggy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've done two Italian beefs then. Okay. Portillo's we and did, beef. Portillo's, we did, they're reckless, such nice reckless guys. Eating. Reckless oh, eating. Reckless eating. The I coolest love, yeah, dudes, absolutely. man. Chris Reckless. They yeah. came in town for a, a meetup and we did a Italian beef with them and no it was just yeah. disintegrating. It was so falling oh. apart. Matt and Chris really liked it though. They were having <laughs> such a blast. Matt was having a like experience. <laughs> <laughs> this is bringing so much. It's actually how Chicagoans normally oh eat it. They really God. caught on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Isn't it great? Oh Their whole crew is so nice, dude. I, know. They, I had such a good time kicking Shout out to Sunday. Matt, Chris, Nancy, and Sean. The yeah, crew was so cool. Such dope dudes. This is I can't believe I finished Have you that. already finished this? Just, you like, ate all of that? I have not. Done? I have also haven't eaten since <laughs> last night. Bro, what is Same. wrong I with you? I don't know, dog, you know? I heard I'm just, the food was good, and this is amazing. Psycho. <laughs> also, just so you know, you're seeing this video. We're filming another video on Justin's yeah. channel, so I'm I'm trying to save some space. I'm such an idiot. So I don't want to give it away, but it's another Chicago staple and it's another one that is like to me wow. beyond the like I was always a fan of being like these are all trash and then I tried this one I was like oh dude this is what it's supposed to be like so yeah. I think you're gonna I mean I can't wait. You I'm really excited for you to have it oh oh it's dude, illegal right? What I just did what in my you? pants deserves a citation, you guys. I love collabing in the car like this. Yeah. This is the best way to oh, do it. Oh, it's so fun. I also saved my last bite so I can do a big bite. Oh, yeah. Ooh, do your thing, baby. Yeah. This is your world. We're living in it. in person. It's amazing. So it was the hot, right? The hot, hot and the sweet. sweet. You got the gravy in there, the French bread here from the local deli. Or the local bakery, rather, and then they are making this beef fresh. It Dude. looks pretty intense, you guys. I think I'm going to go in on it here on a last bite, big bite of the Mr. Beef Italian beef here in the heartland of Chicago. It's downtown, Julie Brown, somewhere. Let's do it. <laughs> big bite. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. That's this ain't no amateur bite. shit. Uh uh. Uh uh. Professional. Mm. This is straight up Kobayashi right Kobe here. Kobayashi. Like. This is like Kobayashi's. Kobayashi had a kid with chestnut, Joey Chestnut. Yeah, they had <laughs> like some chestnut. sort of a hybrid baby. That's yeah, Justin. Matt Stoney a little bit. Yep, so yep. Mm. Yeah. Wow, God, thank you so much. This was intense. I, I I think I'm ready to rate this sandwich. I don't know. Yeah. Should we do any shout outs? <laughs> we certainly could. He's, He's sitting it. here rocking the shirt. Let's do some shirt shout outs. Shirt shout out! Shirt shout out! Shirt shout out! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, people that bought merch 
off the website. Woo. Corey, what do you sell on that bad boy, that, that website? Oh boy, we got a little bit of everything. We got koozies, we got sunglasses, and we have what, three, four different types of shirts sure you can do. get? Man, it's it's uh, stock to the barrel, and someone asked recently, when are you gonna get more? I'll tell you what, when we upgrade our living conditions, because my fiance <laughs> is gonna call off the wedding if I start storing a single, He's got Anything all the stuff else. in his apartment, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little behind the scenes action. Shirt shout out number one goes to Matthew Minotowski out of Texas. He got two of the number six of cheese shirts. Thank you, Matthew. Woo! Did you think you were gonna get a Justin guest spot shout Dang. out? <laughs> Shirt shout out number two, we're gonna go to Charles Vitello. Like like Big shout out, this guy got three Sunny G's. I don't know if he's got two extra friends or if he loses stuff a lot. Maybe he's got three heads. That's probably not the case. Not sure <laughs> <laughs> the third and final shout out. That's right, three shout outs today. Corey's sister, Shannon Desmond. Woo, 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 woo. Two pairs of sunglasses. Two pairs of sunglasses. One uh, for herself and then one for the anybody she saves in her doctoring life. <laughs> she just puts she goes, on hey, like guess this. what? Boom, you earn these. Like Bret Hart yep. going up to a kid in the first row in WWF back in the day. That's right. <laughs> All right, shirt shout outs are done. Justin, Sean, and Corey sweating our butts off. Let's do this rating. Justin, give me an icon. What are we doing out of five? Mr. Beef, uh, beef butts. How many beef mm, butts I like do you that. give Ooh, I like that. All right, that. Italian beef. Out of five beef butts, how many beef butts do you give the hot and sweet Mr. Beef Italian beef sandwich? Justin, you're up first. Uh, I'm gonna have to give it four and a half, only because you guys finished it way too soon. It should have been a little bit bigger. It was huge <laughs> my appetite, but the price was right. I know. I, yeah, I dude. cannot believe. Yeah, that's Actually, a good point. 23, yeah. $23 yeah. for three sandwiches so even? It makes sense. Insane. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that, that was crazy, because those, those were beast. We're downtown. Yeah, that's dude, nice. right? The parking probably cost that for the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Beef. Corey, your turn. Dude, so having tried some other Italian beefs and always having been like, Psh, those aren't nothing, dude. I don't even really care about Italian beefs. I don't understand why Chicago's are about them. They're kind of just stupid to me. Uh, it's so pleasurable to see what it's like to have like the go it's like I've been watching third grade basketball players <laughs> and then I thought that's what basketball was and then Michael Jordan came in like that's how good that was to me so because of that I gotta give that a five dude that is by far the best Italian beef I've had if you're in Chicago go to Mr. Beef's over all other competitors sure. dude amazing holy crap that was Corey's analogies lately have been so good that, <laughs> that, was, that was amazing. <laughs> my roommate in college coached fourth graders and he was like we all hung over would go like support him and watch yeah oh i would have rather died dude <laughs> i dedicate this victory to april ludgate it feels good and it feels sticky i coached little kids too one time and uh, when I gave up their medals, I showed up drunk, not expecting <laughs> one of the parents to leave and try to get me to drive their kid home. I was like, I walked here, lady. I can't be driving. And then luckily one parent came up and saw it in my eyes and goes, we got him. And I was like, oh, I busted. Oh, that's so I was 19 funny. in oh. Germany. What am I going to do? Not drink? I wanted to split the difference and do a 475, but I'd be lying because that blew me away. I, I got to do it to y'all. Five out of five. Yeah. Corey, so right, we're not normally like huge Italian beef guys because we're not from Chicago, so we don't have that like I like, grew up eating yeah, the nostalgia of it, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I always do such a terrible Chicago accent. I always do like Brooklyn mixed with Queens mixed with like Australia. Somehow it comes out still racist. I don't know. No. <laughs> this is your cue to go over to Mr. Big Bites Fast Food Pit Stops channel and subscribe Check if you have not. If uh, you haven't subscribed, bro, get your life together. No, how are you doing? Jesus. Yeah. Get it together, because yeah. man. You guys are in for a treat if you if you guys aren't aware of this guy. You know what else I love about Justin too? He doesn't just do the fast food thing like so many people do. This dude went to Lakefront Brewing. His like first week oh, in Milwaukee yeah. slams. Would yeah. you get like poutine fries the, or something? Uh, hot roast poutine. Hot roast you had to get poutine. The cheese curds. Cheese curds. Wisconsin cheese curds. There you, oh, there you go. <laughs> so uh, I, I got a little bit of hate from the Wisconsins. Yeah, they, they'll accent. get over it. Yeah. They'll, they'll have. have they'll have literally to. have a, a Miller Lite and forget about it. <laughs> That's what I've learned about right. people that I've met from Wisconsin. They get over stuff really quickly. That's right. It's a good quality to have. Um, so guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new number six with cheese video. Subscribe to Justin and uh, some more fun probably coming after this because I'm going to bring this camera to the, you get it. Uh, see you tomorrow. Thanks guys. Let's do it. Thank you guys so much. Awesome.
Sounds Please like it. Please wait for the next available agent. Okay. Oh, shit. Bump this at your wedding, dude. Oh, that's my jam, dude. Oh, I'm feeling myself, dude. In a weird way. <laughs> okay, what can I get for you? Um, could we do a medium sausage and pepperoni deep dish pizza? Look at this guy's you car. Look at the ride, buddy. Hey, uh, Uber for Sean. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. <laughs> Take front seat. This all just looks so nice. Beautiful. Is the coloring even good in Escalades? It's amazing. Oh, Thank you, guys. This is nice. This is my baby. I do feel like a chauffeur here in Chicago with this. I There's love an Escalade it. every third car, so it's not quite as special out here. Yeah. Corey. Yep. Here you go, medium pepperoni sausage. Yeah, that's perfect, man. Thank you. All right, Justin, what do we got? We've got a medium. Sausage, pepperoni for Pequod's the deep dish here in Chicago. It's the authentic stuff. I asked these guys to bring me to the best place for the pizza, and they said this was it. So here we are, Pequod's pizza. Just a couple of sausage and pepperoni nerds are gonna go in on it. <laughs> on a big bite, let's do it. Let's go pop Justin's deep dish cherry all over the city. Woo! This has never happened right. before. I've never seen this. So Here's first that. time the deep dish, and never brought it to the channel. Let's do it. Enough talking. Let's check it out. Pop these little side ducks. Whoa, yeah. that's Chicago's how new got I a am. weird on system. <gasps> All right, there's First that. Out, they try to tease you. Oh, they tease yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little different than most of the crusts you're gonna see. <laughs> oh, 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 it's you're illegal. Right? What I just did what in my mean? pants deserves a citation, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sausage and pepperoni that's serious. Cheers. Big bite. 